Emily Walsh was a world-changing economist and a peace activist. She was born in 1867 to a middle-class family in Boston in America, and she spent many years doing research and teaching and working in areas to do with the living and working conditions of women and children and minorities particularly. Her research had a huge impact on American social policy, pushing it in the direction of welfare. She thought deeply about problems of immigration and nationalism, and she promoted, over, this is over 100 years ago, she argued that countries were enriched by cultural diversity. So she was arguing that about the slums of Chicago and the immigration from Eastern Europe at a time when uh, it was not a popular, cultural diversity was not a popular idea. She also argued that militarism and aggression are embedded in our cultural values. And she was a very active participant in the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom during the First World War. None of this made her popular with the establishment. Her university in America actually sacked her in 1918 for her involvement in the peace movement. And when she got the Nobel Peace Prize, which she did in 1946, uh, the American government didn't even recognise um, her achievement. She didn't allow any of this to stop her and she went on working on such issues as disarmament, the League of Nations and international human rights. She went on with all these issues until she died at 94 in 1961.